Hi there, and let's get to it. It's a good idea to save your project as soon as you begin. You can find the save options in the file menu in Save Project. Control S for PCs, Command S for Macs. It's always a good idea to give your project a logical name. You will now see the title of your project reflected at the top of the interface. You also have the option of selecting File, Save Project As if you don't want to overwrite your previous project. This will give you the option of typing in a new name for your project. It's also a good idea to set up your autosave at this stage. You can find your autosave in the project settings. These can be accessed via the gear icon in the bottom right corner of the interface. Once you've launched the interface, click on autosave on the left hand side. You have a few options. You could choose to turn automatic saving off. Uh, this is highly discouraged as you could lose your project. You could turn it on but this is also discouraged as it will overwrite your only project file. You are encouraged to automatically save to a backup project. This will generate a separate project file similar to the sort of autosave files generated by Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. These will be located separate from your original project file. You can choose how many of these backups will exist and underneath that you specify how often you want the save to occur. The default is 10 minutes, but you can select this drop-down menu and choose alternative times. You'll be able to access all your previous saves by clicking on the List Backups button. Currently there are no backups as I have only just created this project. I'm going to generate a simple video sequence for the purposes of demonstrating the autosave. Let's say I click Command S to save this project. I then start making extreme changes to the footage. So there it is, the autosave has just popped up and I'm going to close this project without saving it. I'm simulating a crash basically. If I was to relaunch DaVinci Resolve, and access my project, when I go back to the color page, I'll find that unfortunately the grade that I had on this shot has now disappeared. Oh no, <laughs> what to do? So here is where autosave shines. I'm going to click on the gear in the lower right corner and relaunch the autosave panel and I will click on list backups. This now shows the backup that was generated a few minutes ago. I will click on this backup and say load. It will prompt me to give the project a new name this is a good idea because you can never be too certain if your backup will contain the right information. So this still gives you an exit in case the version you just opened is the better choice than the backup itself. Now you've created the project file, but that doesn't mean that you have yet opened the backup. So you will need to first go back into your project manager and open the backup separately. Uh, once again, I'm being prompted to save and I'm not going to do that. And lo and behold, this grade that I've just been applying has been saved by the autosave. So I've now got my information back and I can continue working on this version of the project. One final note to make is that since you only have 10 backups being saved, DaVinci Resolve will start overwriting the oldest of the backups. That's why when the full list appears in this menu, you should check the last date modified and make sure you launch the backup that is most recent to you. Something at the top or at the bottom might not necessarily mean the earliest or the latest backup. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you next time.